Okay, in this question we have a lot of information and as usual it's going to come down to determining which of this information is actually necessary for the to answer the questions. Here's our question. Manhattan Corporation has several divisions that operate as decentralized profit centers. At the present time, the fabrication division has excess capacity of 5,000 units with respect to the UT371 circuit board, a popular item in many digital applications. Information about the circuit board follows, and they're to tell us that the market price is $48, variable selling distribution costs on external sales is $5, and the key is that that's on external sales is what's $5, variable manufacturing costs $21, and the fixed manufacturing costs $10. Continuing, Manhattan's Electronic Assembly Division wants to purchase 4,500 circuit boards either internally or else use a similar board in the marketplace that sells for $46. Now, that $46 is actually a little bit less than the market price of $48, but that may not be relevant here. The Electronic Assembly Division's management feels that if the first alternative is pursued, a price concession is justified given that both divisions are part of the same firm. To optimize the overall goals of Manhattan, the minimum price to be charged for the board from the fabrication division to the electronic assembly division should be how much? Now, we have the choices on the next slide, but we're not going to look at those right now. We can just answer this question as it is. There's a couple of pieces of information here that are absolutely critical to this. First, we're told that the fabrication division has excess capacity of 5,000 units. Okay, they have 5,000 units of excess capacity, and this other division in the company wants to purchase only 4,500 units, which means that the fabrication division has the capacity to do this without having to cancel any other orders. We're not going to have to call up somebody and say, oh, by the way, we're not selling to you anymore. Okay, so that's, we have capacity, and that's, that's wonderful because what it means then is that we only need to cover the variable costs of production. So if we look at these four numbers that they give us here, market price is irrelevant. The variable selling distribution costs on external sales, that doesn't matter because this is an internal sale. There isn't going to be that commission, those distribution costs that we have to pay. Now we have variable manufacturing costs. That looks pretty good. That looks like that's probably going to be our answer, we also then have fixed manufacturing costs, but remember, because we have excess capacity, because we're doing this internally, because this is a short-term decision, the fixed manufacturing costs are going to continue whether or not we fill this order okay, for this other department in our company. And so what we have is a $21 cost or $21 variable manufacturing cost. Now, the key element to this question then the second part is what is the minimum price now at a price of 21 the fabrication division has no additional contribution their sales price is equal to their variable cost of production there's no contribution so in a sense there's no incentive for the fabrication division to do this but there's also no incentive for them not to do this and so our correct answer is going to be $21. Now, if we look at our choices, if we just, which you've already seen, we've got four choices. One of them is $21, and that is going to be our correct answer. The key here is the excess capacity. Because they have the excess capacity, all we need to cover are those variable costs of production. Because the question asks for the minimum price, $21 is going to be the right answer for this. If there was some, some phrase that added also some amount of incentive for the fabrication, then it would have to be $22. But they're just asking the minimum price, and so $21 is the correct answer.